Hey guys, uh, today I'll show you how to jailbreak iOS 5 Beta 6. Uh, this is an untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 3GS, uh, but you have to have the old boot ROM. Uh, if you don't know if you have the new or old boot ROM, simply follow this process and you'll come up to a part where it'll ask you, and if you still don't know, it will check for you. So, first of all, um, you have to download Snowbreeze. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for you. It's very quick, it's only 16.3 megabytes to download that. Once you downloaded it, you'll get a program like this. Simply open it up and run it, and it comes up with this screen here. Just press OK. And then it'll come up saying about credits, close credits. And as you can see here, this is intended for developers. Let's just ignore that. Uh, it's a tethered jailbreak by iBooty, except for 3GS on the old boot ROM. OK, it's fine. So, so you press next. And I ask you for the IPSW. Um, as some of you have probably done, you've downloaded it over the air. Now this isn't an issue, simply go on to your browser and go on to this site, uh, I am one zone downloads. This lets you download all the IPSWs and files without being a developer. So here we go, here comes the, the uh, iPhone 3GS iOS 5 beta 6, let's simply download it there. It is 670 megabytes, simply download it, it should take a couple of minutes. Uh, once you downloaded it, uh, browse for it, which I've done already, i put it on my desktop. So it's here, let's open it. Uh, this takes a few minutes, well my computer it does, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back to it. Okay, so now it has detected um, that it's an iPhone 3GS, and it wants to know if I have the old boot ROM or the new boot ROM. Okay, so if you don't know, um, it's detected it for me, so simply just press that, and then it will ask you to plug your device in and put it into DFU mode. If you don't know how, it will tell you and run you through the steps, very easy. So you do that, and it will detect, and we'll choose it for you. So, if you know what it is already, uh, choose old boot ROM. And here we go. And then it says it's all verified, it's ready to go. Let's press next. Now it says here, um, please select the mode you want. Um, let's go for simple mode, it's just a lot easier and it's easy to follow. So, let's choose simple mode. Click blue hour, bar, and blue hour. And then it says here, it's waiting. Um, so it's waiting for it to be built, so it says just wait a second and just ignore these, just take a few minutes so I just wait and I will pause the video again okay uh, so now it has finished uh, doing its thing, it took about 15 minutes which is quite a long time um, so now what we have to do is since it's done and it's all successfully created the ISPW I've been located on my desktop as you can see that is here now if you're not quite sure how to put it, how to do it, so we just press OK and I'll tell you put in DFU mode, put in DFU mode, let's follow this through, and then your iDevice be in put in DFU mode. Now once you've done that, um, it's this bit, I'll stop now so I'm going to do it, close it, um, go on to iTunes, and then, mine will take a while, a while to load because it's on beta still, simply plug your device in, well make sure it's in the put in DFU mode, um, then go on to iTunes, hold, sh press shift, and then choose restore, then choose this file here and let it run through and it should work if you be able to jailbreak your iDevice. If you have any issues guys, uh, let me know, leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to check out the next iOS, we're writing stuff all about jailbreaking and beta software. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus to stay tuned for the details, put the links in the description below. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, catch you next time.